we will uh, open up Health Community Services Committee and we'll welcome Mr. Tom Collins uh, to talk to us about the Citizen Court Grant application. The, uh, we'll just start. We'll start right there. If you can, uh, just give us a rundown of the program. What you guys are seeking to do? I got a few questions after. Okay. Um, we've got the uh, State Homeland Security Program, the HC uh, grant in 2009. It's reverted funding for the CERT program. Uh, each county has, has been broke down and, and uh, been offered four thousand two hundred forty-seven dollars uh, to support the CERT team program. Uh, but since each one of the uh, counties don't have a CERT team, uh, we're actually requesting $12,926 uh, to support, uh, again, to support the CERT program. All right. This is, there is no match. No match required? Okay. Um, can you just, I know we're on a time crunch here, but uh, I've had some questions been asked to me that I didn't know that the answer to. How long have we, has the county had CERT? Uh, I've been here for three years, and yeah. it was here way before I started. Give me an idea, Joe. Okay. So we've had it for a while. Um, if we accept this grant money, are there any federal guidelines we must abide by in order to take this? Any strings attached? Anything that we must do in order to accept these funds? Uh, no, sir. We have to. We get a, what we're applying for to spend the money on is the only strings, and we got to make sure it goes to support the certainty. We currently have 52 applications from within Lexington County that we're processing, and this will go towards training manuals for those uh, volunteers. Um, it'll go towards uniforms, so if they do get called out, they'll be recognizable, best, yeah. hard hats, that kind of equipment. Gotcha. Is, is CERT made up of all volunteers? All volunteers. Okay. Um, if there ever was an emergency like a tornado, real bad one, heaven forbid, um, FEMA or federal governor, or somebody was to step in, um, do they have? Does this grant subject us to having to, do they have authority over us and directing our personnel in any way, shape, no, or form? No shape, form, or fashion. The, the state can't come in unless I request them to come in, and the federal government can't come in unless, again, we request them to come in. And that request would go through the state. The state would then request that, that uh, uh, support from the federal government. Okay. But under the uh, home rules, uh, it starts here. At, in Lexington County, we run all of emergency operations here locally, and unless we request support from outside this county, it does not come. That's the only way. Okay. And then, uh, lastly, have we accepted, and to your knowledge, in the last three years, any of these type of grants for the CERT program in the past? Uh, yes, for every year. Okay. During the segment you just watched, uh, Mr. Collins, which is the uh, emergency manager, just told the. Uh, County Council that there has been money for the last three years or more that has come in as a grant well <clears throat> I can't call him a liar because I don't know for sure all I can do is go by their paperwork on their paperwork right here let me zoom in on it a little bit more so you can read it where it says revenues and then you've got federal grant income uh, it's showing uh, actual in 2009 2010 zero uh, received through January or I'm sorry June 2010 to 2011 zero amended budgets through June 2010 11 zero projected revenues through June 2010 and 2011 zero the money they're asking for is twelve thousand nine hundred and twenty six dollars and the reason they're asking for that is because they're just trying to get more for the program now federal money is federal money and when you take a grant you are tied to the federal government it doesn't matter what it's for so keep that in mind while you watch the rest of the video all right we are not starting a new government program with this and um i mean that's that's what i was getting at we're not we're not starting something new with this we're just doing what we've been doing uh, these volunteers put in over 1300 hours volunteering for the county last year 
uh, for no charge at all. They're here to support us. We had the waterway apartment fire about a year ago. In the middle of the night, we needed volunteers to help set up the shelter at one of the schools. Uh, we called them out on Friday about 8, 30, 9 o'clock at night. They came and stayed out there with us, setting up shelters for the Red Cross, but they were short on volunteers. Uh, that's the kind of work that they do for us. Okay. Thank you. Good. Mr. Tom. Tom, good to see you. Uh, as a former CERT member, I appreciate what you're doing. Uh, I've been trained in the CERT program. I've been before you came on council probably four or five years ago. I guess it was one of my And the, first of all, this is state money, right? It's, it's federal money that's given to the state, and the state's pushed it down to us. And again, it's, it's nothing new. We've been doing this for years. We haven't had anybody step in yet. Uh, with that being said, I will entertain most part of giving them questions. Yeah, was that anything to do with uh, some emails that council got? Yes, that's why I had a list of questions um, here that I wanted to ask. And um, that. yeah. that's great, thank you. Make a motion accept. Second. All right, we have a motion and a second on this council. Uh, any other discussion from the committee or anyone else? All those in favor? Any opposed? That passed unanimously. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Thank you. Um, can you please fill us in on HMP grant application? Uh, yes, sir. This is a hazardous material emergency preparedness grant. Uh, we want to do some uh, additional training for our uh, unified uh, command. Uh, this grant is 80 20, and the 20% will be matched uh, with salaries from emergency management, which we already have. Yes. Uh, okay. so, uh, but basically, we're getting an outside contractor to, to put up, uh, put together a unified command training program for mid-level uh, first responders for Lexington County, the uh, Sheriff's Department, uh, Fire Service, EMS, uh, and that's what this fund is for. Okay. And uh, do you guys have any other questions on this grant application? I have one just to, to get it out there. Um, do you see this as? down the line or in the future as a means of trying to get the law enforcement, fire service, and EMS all up come into one program or one command it's got more centralized? Only during an emergency. If we have a large scale disaster, this actually is, came up as a result of the full scale exercise that we had back on January the 13th where we had the hostage uh, scenario going on. Uh, we had uh, the, the SWAT team came in from the Sheriff's Department to handle the hostages on the bus. Uh, we had fire service having the support and the EMS all coming together under one unified command. We want to improve communications within that unified command, and that's what this training is there to do. Gotcha. Okay. Any other questions? I'll take them. Uh, I, I would move that we approve the um, grant application. All right. We've got both from Ms. Summers and Mr. Dr. Sager. All right, any other discussion? All those in favor? Any opposed? Thank you very much, Mr. Collins. Thanks, sir. Um